Welcome to today's virtual tour. New discoveries by Israeli archaeologists are showing us what the Temple Mount was like during the time of Jesus. Take a look. This major find came as archaeologists reconstructed 2,000-year-old tiles from the second Jewish temple built by King Herod. These are the very floors upon which the high priests and uh, the priesthood and the pilgrims who came to the Temple Mount walked. And this is the floor upon which Jesus walked when he came to the Temple Mount. This discovery resulted from a controversy in 1999 when tons of debris was illegally removed from under the Temple Mount to build an underground mosque. Now we have uh, the pieces of the flooring tiles for the last 12 years of work from the soil of the Temple Mount. We identified them already some 10 years ago and uh, we understood that they belonged to such floors. The Temple Mount sifting project began in 2004. For more than a decade, volunteers and staff from Israel and around the world have been examining the debris from the Temple Mount and making historic discoveries. This is the first time that we are able to restore one of the elements of the architecture of uh, uh, the Second Temple uh, in Jerusalem. Archaeologists confirm the authenticity of these pieces based on the various sizes, materials and technique by which they were made. I never thought that I will be able to find something that is uh, so much connected to the temple proper. Project director archaeologist Gabby Barkai pointed out why this achievement should be important for Christians. This is the very floor upon which the coins were rolling when Jesus turned uh, the tables of the money changers upside down. This is the very floor upon which those coins were rolling. We have several different stories where Jesus is sitting with his disciples in the porticos and he's teaching them right there. They're standing, they're sitting right here on these floors. Researcher and mathematician Frankie Snyder played a key role in putting the tile patterns together. This is the first Herodian pattern I was actually able to reconstruct. Snyder restored the ornate patterns combining geometric principles with comparisons to designs at Herod's palaces. You find that in the Herodian patterns, the mathematics is impeccable. The sizes, the shapes, how they're putting these things together is just amazing. So far, about 600 colored stone floor tile pieces have been discovered. It's sort of like putting together a puzzle, but without a box top. You don't know what the picture's gonna look like, and you only have about 1% of the tiles. We're not out to try to prove anything. The temple was there, but we can show you more clearly exactly, exactly what was there. For years, present day visitors to the Temple Mount imagined Herod's temple was made from white stone, now Barkai says the restoration of the floor tiles gives a deeper understanding and appreciation for the glory of the second Jewish temple. Chris Mitchell, CBN News, Jerusalem. Thank you for joining us today. Come back tomorrow where we'll show you an archaeological discovery connected to one of Israel's most famous kings.